All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle here. Uh, on with my Raw review. Uh, just finished watching Raw, and what can I say? An awesome Raw um, after WrestleMania. Um, really a good show. Uh, so where do I start? Um, show opens up with The Rock. Uh, Rock coming out, um, talking about uh, John Cena and the match they had at WrestleMania the other day. Um, I mean, I don't want to say nothing too special, but I mean, just, you know, it is what it is. Um, the first match we got into was Santino Morella for the United States title, going up against Ziggler and uh, uh, Jack Swagger, triple threat. Uh, this match was, was decent. It was, it was a fun match, is what I like to call it. Um, great athleticism from Ziggler, and even Swagger, as always. Um, and then you had, like, one little uh, segment with Brodus Clay coming out, and he and Santino were, like, dancing together. And uh, I think if they were to put those two together, I think they would complement each other um, in terms of, you know, just being some funny characters. Um, after that, we got a WWE Championship match between Punk and uh, Mark Henry. Um, this was a good match, I thought, uh, considering, you know, as Punk never really wrestles with, like, big, huge, giant, <coughs> excuse me, giant men. Um, the only one I think he's had good matches with were probably The Undertaker and Chris Hero. But uh, to wrestle, uh, you know, Mark Henry, I thought, you know, he did a good job at that. But uh, Mark Henry won only to a count out. Um, Chris Jericho comes and just smashes a bottle of alcohol right on, Punk, on the back of Punk's head. Um, I know Punk's going to have to have a concussion tonight um, after, after that. But still, some pretty epic stuff there. Uh, John Laurinaitis also told Punk, too, that uh, it seems like I think every week or something is going to make Punk defend the world title or something like that. Um, so that is what it is with that. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened. Uh, the next segment we got into was uh, Sheamus. Sheamus was going to uh, come out, you know, and speak, you know, as being the, the world heavyweight champion. Um, but a returning Alberto Del Rio came. Uh, in which the crowd was really uh, receptive um, to Alberto de Rio. Um, and he comes in, interrupts Sheamus, and tells Sheamus that he has, a, he has a world title match this Friday night on SmackDown, thanks to Johnny Ace. So I'm wondering, are they going to put Del Rio back on the SmackDown brand? I don't know. They might, since Chris Jericho is back, and some other things, surprises later on, that happen later on during the night of the show. Um, Lord Tenzai, I forget, um, ended up making his debut tonight, um, a.k.a. for anyone who doesn't know this, A-Train, he used to work, he had some history with the WWE, uh, going back into, like, 2002, 4 era, um, he, he worked most, pretty much, he's worked the last, you know, six, seven years, um, in Tokyo, Japan, uh, doing some stuff there and coming back, um, I'm not the biggest Tenzai fan, uh, or A-Train, or you guys would now know as Lord Tenzai, not the biggest fan of his. He is a good worker for a big man. I definitely give him that. He's definitely one of the best big man workers out there. But I don't know. Just have to see how WWE would build him with his new gimmick. Um, but still, an impressive you know debut to come after Raw. An impressive debut. Um, after that, uh, Eve uh, talked about um, Eve talked about how she manipulated uh, uh, Zack Ryder and basically was the cause for Johnny Ace and his team winning. Um, after that, we get into a match between The Miz and uh, Zack Ryder. Miz winning. Decent match. Um, Cody Rhodes fought uh, uh, Kofi Kingston. Kingston um, won due to a distraction caused by Big Show. So uh, Cody lost um, to, to Kingston um, caused by Big Show. Um, and then the inning segment was, uh, of course, John Cena. Uh, John Cena... Pretty much saying, you know, how he's not going to lash out at the fans. And, um, you know, he wants to call out The Rock, but not call out and, you know, and, and talking about him. But call him out um, in terms of, you know, I guess, you know, one say, you know, give him a handshake and congratulate him, you know, for being the better man at WrestleMania and beating him and all this other stuff. And it was just this long, just pause. And I'm thinking, I WWE, are they going to tease us and saying, like, well, Rock came back, he did his job, and now he's leaving again? That's what I thought. Which I still do think, but I think I was thinking like maybe it's an elaborate plan for WWE to have the fans turn on the Rock and say, "Oh, well, Rock betrayed us again." Um, music pops. Mark, uh, not Mark Henry. Brock Lesnar is freaking back. The next big thing, the two thousand, the two thousand two 
uh, Royal Rumble, the 2003, I'm sorry, Royal Rumble winner, the three-time WWE champion, youngest WWE champion in history, Brock Lesnar, the fastest rising star to become WWE champion in history as well. Brock Lesnar, effing back, the next big thing, here comes the pain. The crowd popped. I popped like a little schoolgirl, almost pissed in my pants. I marked out for Brock Lesnar. It was freaking awesome. Um, and I really have to give credit to, um, to, to the Miami crowd tonight in Raw. The crowd was so hot during the entire two-hour show. They were more hot tonight than they were at last night's WrestleMania. I mean, I was just shocked. I mean, through everything, the crowd was hot. They were chanting, yes, 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 yes. Um, you know, mock, you know, mimicking Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan was Daniel Bryan wasn't even on the show. He had like a two second backstage segment, but he was just so over with the crowd t tonight on Raw. Um, the Rio surprisingly was somewhat over with the crowd tonight. They were they were saying yes, 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 but in Spanish, c c c c c. Um, but they they knew Brock Lesnar had to been coming because they chanted Brock Lesnar. And when Brock Lesnar came out, I mean, like I said, I almost pissed in my pants like a little schoolgirl. The crowd popped, I pop, I pop, just like how when The Rock came back last year, I'm like, yes, Rock Lesnar just comes in, he shakes John, John he reaches out his hand to, uh, to shake John Cena's hand, John Cena shakes his hand, he lifts John Cena up and drops him with an F5, and that is the end of Raw, uh, I mean, like I said, just an epic Raw tonight, really good Raw, we got to see a debut of a new wrestler, well, sort of new, for those who've never seen his career before, but still. Um, we got some pretty decent matches. I thought I had a good match between Punk and, um, and, um, Henry. Um, got to see, uh, some more stuff going on between Punk and Jericho. Looks like that's going to still continue to go on and be interesting. Um, and then the epic return of Brock Lesnar. I mean, just cannot get any better than this. So, um, I saw in the uh, WrestleMania press conference, they said that, uh, Brock, uh, that they were going to promote for next year's WrestleMania. So that kind of makes me think, well, next year's WrestleMania in New York City be Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. Uh, so that's that's what it kind of makes me wonder and think about. Um, so Brock Lesnar um, has also been said that he signed a one-year deal with the WWE. So uh, I don't know if we're going to see him any other time throughout the, ye throughout the year or something. I don't know. Um, but I think this is going to be the main event match for next year's WrestleMania, Lesnar and uh, Cena. Um also, too, uh, The Rock had also hinted and teased uh, during the opening of the show um, that he wants the WWE Championship one more time. So uh, that's I, I marked out for that, like little schoolgirl, like, yes, you know, after coming off a hot victory last night at Mania, Rock could possibly, you know, get back in the ring and be WWE Champion again. So when he teased that possibility, um, I marked out for that as well. But like I said, really good Raw, enjoyed it from top to bottom. And I really have to give it to the Miami crowd because for just as much as, you know, the stories and the wrestlers and everything else make the show good, fan participation makes the show even better. I always said that fan participation goes so long, you know, it it, it, it goes it, 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 it really helps the show, you know, in, in quality and helps it, you know, become a, a much better show. And that crowd was hot during the entire two hour show. There was not a cool off period whatsoever. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought about tonight's Raw, what you guys thought about Brock Lesnar's epic return, what do you guys think about, uh, The Rock, possibly, when he said he wants, uh, another shot for the WWE Championship, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, this is Cotton965, comment, subscribe, peace.